This is a short video on aqueous convection currents in the anterior chamber. We will first look at the video showing aqueous convection currents, then we will discuss the mechanism causing these currents and finally we will revisit the video. As you can see here, this patient has lot of cells in the anterior chamber appearing as white dots. Now if you observe closely, you will notice that the cells in the posterior part are rising upwards while those in the anterior part are moving downwards. This pattern of movement is due to the convection currents. The mechanism The aqueous humor is secreted by the ciliary body into the posterior chamber from where it flows into the anterior chamber through the pupillary area. Then it is drained from the trabecular meshwork into the Schlem's canal and ultimately reaching the episcleral veins. In the anterior chamber, there exists a temperature gradient between the anterior and the posterior parts. The anterior part is cooler due to evaporation of tears from the corneal surface and also the avascularity of the cornea contributes to the same. The posterior part is warmer due to close proximity to the iris which is warm. Here you can see the temperature gradient across the anterior chamber. This temperature gradient results in convection currents that causes aqueous in the anterior part to move down along the cooler cornea and that in the posterior part to move up along the warm iris. So I hope now it is clear why these cells in the posterior part are seen moving upwards and in the anterior part moving downwards.